What's up everybody, Jazz here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to start, well, I'm going to start a either day in my life or week in my life as a content creator with a regular 9 to 5. I mean because I'm still a regular girl over here and we work for a living. So we punch in. Yeah, we're starting off with that. Um, I've already got semi-dressed. I'll show y'all this later. But um, I need to do something to my hair. Like, the silk press is still hanging. It's still hanging. But it's kind of in that phase where it's like, do we want to stay smooth or... Do we want to revert back? That's what that's what my roots are saying right now. See, it's in that phase. So, I'm about to try and do something to my hair that's going to be cute. Um, I think I'm going to try a high bun. I'm about to go back to the high school days and see what we can do. I put some of this hydrated oil from Pantene in my hair so uh if it focuses I don't know if it's gonna focus I put some of this in my hair the Pantene Gold Series hydrating oil I put it on the ends because I noticed you know they're looking a little ragged but we don't need that so let me do this and yeah we're gonna try and do this because I actually want to try and fix something to eat before I leave. And I can't do that if I'm still in here. I usually try to get to work with me being a clinical person. I don't necessarily have a specific time frame to be at work, but I personally like to get to work before nine because I just like my day. I just like an early day. Like early day, it's still slightly quiet. If I need to make copies of stuff, if I need to just a moment to myself, I can have that. And yeah, so yeah, it'll do. I need to do a little edge control. Y'all, I really don't do edge control because I don't know how to do my edges. It's pretty really plain and simple. This little spot still irritates me. I got a whole story of how my hair got this thing on this side, y'all. Just know it had something to do with me getting tests when I was first having seizures. We'll just leave it at that for right now. But if y'all want the whole story time, let me know in the comments. Get ready to go. I'm using my Ellis Brooklyn Salt. If y'all can even see it. Yep. Using this, I already sprayed some on. I don't want to spray too much on because I sprayed some on before I put my sweatshirt on. Uh, do a little bit of gloss for right now. Lately, I've been leaving my glasses at home. So I'm putting this in my pocket. All right. Let's get started. So, I am trying to figure out what type of shoes to put on because it's still a little patchy. Well, we still have patches of ice at work right now. So I want to wear some shoes that I know I'm not going to be slipping and sliding in. 
So, you know, I got khakis on. I know these may not go, but I'm going to throw these Tims back on because I can't find, I can't find my combat boots. So, yeah, we're going to, we're going to throw these on for today. And hopefully after today, we won't even need to pull out the Tims anymore because it's supposed to be raining for the next three days. Hopefully that rain is going to wash the rest of this ice away and then I can just be, I, I wear rain boots. But like, having to bust out the Tim's because it's too much ice in the road? Come on now, Memphis. It's been a whole week and some days now. Y'all definitely should have had all this ice gone by now. But anyway, what else? What else? What else? Oh, gym bag. My gym bag. I'm just using my Zeta bag because I don't know where any of my other bags are. But um, we are getting back in the gym this week. I was supposed to be back in the gym, but y'all, all that time off and then all this bad weather started coming in. I said, Jim, who? I need to be trying to make it home. So, haven't been going to the gym. We're getting back in today. Um, so I got my clothes and my shoes packed. <sighs> so I think we can get ready to head out of this room and head to the front. So for the longest, I know I always said I wasn't a coffee girl, but I've been needing some lately just to warm me up in the inside and to get me on the go. These don't even fit these cups, so these are the wrong I use the Donut Shop regular coffee, and then I just use some Delight Caramel Macchiato, and then I put a little bit of vanilla in there. So, yeah. Yeah, so, I'm getting back in the gym this week, so I actually need to be making me a protein shake. I've been trying out the whey protein. It's the Fruit Loop version, or well, the Fruit Loop taste. This is actually really good, so I'm gonna make that before I actually head out. I got me some pretzels, and it's the Dots brand, amazing. I got me two things of yogurt, but I see that this plain one says, it's from Trader Joe's, but I see it says, you know, like that sale date, it says January the 7th, 24th, and I got this after January the 7th, so I'm going to put it in here, but I don't think I'm going to be eating it, but I did get some regular strawberry, and this one came from Walmart. Hey y'all, so I'm filming this little OOTD on my phone because this is the only big mirror I got in the house. And yeah, if I use my camera, the quality will be, if I use my actual camera, the quality will be a lot more trashier than this. Like the lighting in here is just horrible as a whole. But, but I have on this influential sweatshirt. It says established 2020 and there is something on the back. So yeah. I'll pop up a picture so y'all can actually see what it is. Um, I got on my little Lee Cargos. Y'all, there was a Lee store at the Tanger Outlet. And they say that they just moved to a new location in the mall. But I haven't found it yet. But I love these pants. I have like three pair. They're different. These are the ones that scrunch at the foot. But I got other ones that don't scrunch. And then, of course, we're throwing on the Tims. So... OOTD for the day. Um, like I said, it's still freezing here in Tennessee, Memphis specifically. We still got a little ice everywhere. And yeah, I want to be cute, comfortable, and warm and safe. Hence the boots. So yeah, this is this is the type of fit I go for. I don't know why, but this is definitely me, especially with the bun and stuff. This is, this is just my style. I don't know why. But, yeah, that's this. Let me hurry up and get out of here because we, we already started off bad, okay? 
right y'all so right now i am definitely telling myself that i'm late for work it is 8 53 so technically i'm not late for work because i can kind of come in whenever i want as long as i get my hours and my work done by the end of the week but i've programmed myself to be out the house and at my job at a certain time and right now i'm not doing good like and i'm not gonna say that it's because i'm filming because i've definitely done other things before and i've gotten to work on time so <laughs> we're finally about to head out officially now and we're just gonna bump to some songs while we are heading in so enjoy my very lame playlist because i can't tell you the last time i've listened to some type of new song so hey y'all so i finally made it to work it is 9 19 um i'm not going to record while i'm doing work because <laughs> hipaa but um i'll try to come back to y'all when it, i attempt to take a lunch break i'm really bad at taking lunch breaks but i'm going to try to remember to take a lunch break for the sake of content so yeah i hope y'all have a good morning and i'll see y'all later hey y'all so it's been a few hours uh what time is it uh, it is 2 32 now and i've actually been very productive today i'm actually in my office now to finish up some notes and then since a meeting that we usually have on Mondays has been canceled. I'm trying to see now if I want to do a little bit more work or if I just want to head out early and go to the gym early because I told my last sister that I was going to come over to her house when I got done with work. And my gym time, I forgot I scheduled my gym time because I'm going to do a Zumba class today. I forgot that I said I forgot that I scheduled or I booked the class for 6.30. So, I'm trying to see if she can push the time back for us to come over there. Because I really want to go to the gym. I Like, I actually want to go to the gym. That's how I know I need to go to the gym. Because I actually want to go to the gym. So, I'm about to finish up a little work. I'm going to make my mind up and see... If I'm just gonna leave early and go early, or if I'm just gonna go at the time that I booked my session and then just head over there afterwards. Because I'm trying to be consistent. The word for the year is consistency. So, and I know I need to start this ASAP. But yeah, um, it's just been a, so far it's been a chill Monday. Um, it's starting to feel good outside. The sun is out every now and then. I think it just went back in. But the sun is out. It feels good outside. It's not that cold. It's amazing. 
so. <sighs> so y'all, for the most part, Mondays actually be chill. I started getting into the habit of saying that I don't do work on Mondays, but I'm now getting out of that habit because I noticed that me going ahead and actually starting my work week on a Monday actually makes my week go a lot smoother because what happens is things start popping off towards the end of the week. And then if I haven't already started seeing my kids and stuff, I got to try to see kids and other stuff that pops up. So start your week, start your work week off on Mondays. Don't do like I did. But yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more work. I'm going to check in with my folks to see what time she actually wants me to come over there. And then I'll come back letting y'all know the plans. But hopefully I can really keep my gym time because if my mind is ready for me to go, I need to go ahead and go. So yeah, I'll check, at, at, I'll, I'll check back in with y'all in a few hey y'all so i am finally off work and i'm actually at the gym um five minutes late <laughs> so i'm trying to get a parking spot so i can go ahead and go in i'm gonna try and get some footage um i'm just doing zumba today i usually use zumba first before i actually go back into regular workout so i can get into the routine so got a parking spot and i got one right out here at the front so i'm gonna hurry up and go in and i'll see y'all afterwards today oh girl didn't didn't let us know that she was gonna be throwing all that new stuff in like i used to go to the beginner zoom but this was some intermediate high level type stuff she has doing today down with dogs and i'm tired y'all i'm tired it's raining so i'm not gonna stay on here long i need to go on and get home and get in for the night so, once I take the shower, if y'all don't see me after taking the shower, just know I'm done for the night. But, three more days to go and this whole week in the life of a girl with a 9 to 5 trying to be a content creator, that's going to be your week. I hope y'all like it though because I really am trying. Like, I really am putting out my all into this. And me showing y'all what... I do at the gym. Kind of embarrassing for me because I know I'm still a beginner at the gym. So this is real life for me. This is like real stuff. This ain't no aesthetically pleasing type stuff. So I just hope y'all really like it. But we'll see. Um, yeah. Let me head in because I'm starting to rent. And I might see y'all at home. But if I don't see y'all at home, um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. So. Morning.
Y'all, I'm trying to do this week in my life correctly. So, in order for me to do it correctly, y'all gotta be helping me. So, tell me why y'all didn't call me back or text me to remind me to come back to y'all after I left the gym last night. I don't went to the gym, came home, got me a little healthy snack, and went to sleep because I was tired. But y'all definitely could have texted me so I can end the day properly. If we're going to be friends, we have to be here with communication. Like, we can't be friends if y'all going to be doing me like this. Okay? Get it together. Now that we got all that out the way, y'all, it's Tuesday. I still got sleep in my voice, it feels like. <sighs> what time is it? It's 8.15. And I was definitely supposed to cook me something to eat before I put this shirt on. Because one thing about me, I'm going to get something on some clothes. Especially if it's some light color clothes. But we're going to see. It is Tuesday. And... <sighs> see the beginning of the week. Yesterday actually went quite smooth. I did the gym... And went to go see my sissy and the little one. So, yesterday was actually pretty good. Now, I feel like I'm dragging a little bit today because of the weather. Like, I think it's supposed to be raining the next two or three days. And I'm not. I'm no good when it rains. I'm just gonna be honest. I am no good when it rains. So, why am I brushing my hair down? Mm -mm. We need to put it up because we finna be, we finna be in the gym some a little later on today. So, just, well, no, I can put it up like this right now. I can do it like this right now and I'll just put it in a little quick bun when I get to the gym. Really when I leave from when I get ready to leave from work because I change at work. So we'll do that. Yeah, I'm kinda hesitant about really doing this week in my life because first of all, I know I'm still new on the platform. But I really do think that like what they be saying about new creators you really don't need to be vlogging because don't I know you. But then it's like I don't really have any sit down content right now. Like everything that's already out and new and popping that I've taken interest in already out there. Why am I Redoing something that somebody already has out there. I just don't see the purpose in it. Now, if I genuinely like something, of course I'm going to make me a video because I want to put my little two cents in. But it's kind of like stuff that I know the experts are better at explaining when it comes to that type of stuff. Like, I definitely love beauty, but I'm not an expert in beauty yet. But I'm trying to become an, my own expert. So check out my latest TikTok. I may be able to link in the description box. Check out my latest TikTok because I'm making a series of learning how to actually beat my face when time's called for. Check it out. It's actually going to be fun. I actually need to film and update this week. So put that on the calendar, Jazz. I am hungry. I'm on this thing to where I don't eat after a certain time. And so I didn't eat last night after 7. I didn't eat last night after 7. So I definitely need to get me a good breakfast in today. <sighs> Alright. Alright. With this going to have to do. I be like like I look like a big kid. I do. But I'm just trying to make this press look well not it's not even a super press. I'm trying to make this straighten look last at least until 
next week because something fun is going to be happening in the next few weeks and I don't want to put no braids in my hair before that time comes so and I'm definitely I really don't want to straighten not straighten I really don't want to revert my hair back yet to this curly state until I see the weather out here above 40 really above 30 I think above 30 would be decent because my hair is definitely that natural hair that cannot do well in the in the cold at least not my not in its natural state it's doing very well in the cold state because the long the straight hair has lasted a good little minute but the curls mm -mm, mm -mm. the curls do not last in this cold so what a few more weeks and we'll be back to decent we'll be back to decent weather i can't wait but now we're about to go into that storm phase and they ain't no bad either but hey at least it ain't freezing Cold just ain't for me. All right, I got some earrings in. I need to find my other earrings on this last hole, but oh well. All right, let me go and make something to eat so I can hurry up and get out of here. Cause... Hey y'all, I don't know if y'all can hear me or not cause I'm cooking my bacon, but this is the outfit for today. Just something simple cause it's raining. Y'all, I need to find some jeans that actually go all the way down. I can't stand jeans that stop above my ankle, but this all I got for right now. Like, just a cardigan, a bodysuit, and some jeans. It's supposed to be raining today, and I don't know how bad it's gonna be raining, so we're just gonna put on something simple. And it's just based on how I'm feeling today. I don't know. I feel like a cold is coming on, and it's starting to drain my energy, and I'm just now getting up. So, but this is what we got on. I'm about to cook my breakfast, and then we're gonna hurry up and get up out of here. Hey, y'all. I know, jump scare, coming on here, hair looking all crazy and whatnot, but let me tell y'all, life started lifing the day after I left Zumba. Like, life started lifing, so I had to zone in to work and I had to push this to the side because stuff started building up and I started getting anxious a little bit. So, I'm back. Um, clearly, it's been a little while, um, probably like a full day or two. I can't remember now. But it's probably been a day, two max. Um, since then, I have been able to wash my hair. Like, with that crazy weather going on, it finally got warm enough to where all the ice and stuff melted. And Memphis sent out the alert, alert saying that it was okay for us to basically go back to our normal routine with washing clothes and all that stuff. Very first thing I did was wash my hair and wash all of my sheets. So now, I have all new clean sheets. Like, I was starting to get stressed. Like, not being able to do your normal routine like you usually do it is stressful, okay? But I'm happy I got this done because my face, as y'all can see, just started to break out very, very bad. Hopefully, it clears up soon. My head feels a lot better, too, though, so I'm happy about that. But, you know, fresh hair. And I also changed my nails. Like, y'all. These are like those little jelly-like nails that I got from Amazon. These aren't the press-ons, but I'm trying to use these up because my press-ons last longer than these. Like, literally a day after I put, no, a few hours after I put these on, the thumb got loose. I think it's another one that's loose now. My press-ons last longer than this, so... I think I'm going to officially be a press-on girl because this made me so mad. I took my time and did them, and they're already lifted. So, they're cute, especially like the mixture of color I did. If it's zoom, focus, focus. Like, okay, like, they're cute. I really took my time trying to make sure they fit. that they fit my nail. Of course, they're not perfect, but they're cute from afar. They're cute from afar, right? But, I'm just going to take the press on. So I'm going to use the last, I think I got three panels of these left. After I use that up, 
we're just gonna do press ons from here on out. But I just didn't want to constantly use my press ons. I need to go stock up. You know, I got a lot left. But yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I just wanted to come back to y'all real quick so I can properly close out the video. And yeah, so that next day after work, what I did was stop at Target. And y'all, I only went to Target because I needed to stock up on like some a few things to do some meals and stuff. But of course, you know, you just can't go into Target and just go straight for what you need. You have to walk around. You have to feel the vibes. Target, you have to let Target talk to you. You don't talk to Target. Target talks to you. And Target told me to go to the shoe section. It told me to go to the shoe section. And that's what I did. Let me show y'all what I got. Okay, so apparently Target was having like a boot sale or whatnot. And I got three boots. Um, only one pair was on sale, but I just could not pass them up after I found out what they're kind of like a replica of so i got some shoes from wild fable right and y'all y'all look 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 let me know in the comments what y'all what y'all think this reminds y'all of let me know okay if y'all see it see man that's exactly what I was thinking of. Like, they had some denim boots on their website that looks exactly like this. And they're like one something. I got these for $45. $45. Well, yeah, the discount was applied to these, actually. So, they had a discount, and then I saw shoes on sale. So, these weren't on clearance, but I still got the 20% off. So, instead of me paying 50 something, I paid 45 for these. You can't, you can't beat it. Like, <sighs> Jesus, I love it. And then the last two pair I have were actually on clearance. So no discount was needed. And I'm actually not sure if the discount was applied. But, I mean, I was still going to get them anyway because they were still a good deal. So the first pair I got is kind of like these ruched cowboyish, cowgirlish boots got these y'all see y'all see little ruching i don't have any boots in this color so i really wanted them and it got a little heel on it um these were 13.99 13.99 you know i couldn't pass them and they had my size i couldn't pass them like i needed shoes but i definitely needed boots because i don't have a lot of boots that go with a lot of stuff and then my last pair I really love these and I can't not wait to wear them. I need to hurry up and wear them before the cold weather is gone. Or can you, y'all let me know in the comments below after y'all see the boot, if I can wear these outside of it being cold. But this is what they look like. Like the the camera right now, it's the lighting. There you go, that's like the true color of it. But look at them y'all. They're tall, aren't they cute? I love them. I had to go up a size in these, I don't know why, but Boots like this, I always have to go up a size. So I got an eight in these. I wear a seven, seven and a half. I got a seven and a half in the other two, but I got an eight in these. They were $13.99 as well, y'all. They were $13.99 as well. Do you really think I was gonna not get them? Come on now. And like, not only, not only did I just get them because I needed them, but like, I got them because I really want to step up my appearance or really focus in on my appearance this year going forward. Like, I always make sure I look decent, but I really want to start putting more into my appearance. So, like, not only are we going to be dressing cute every day or dressing just more, being more presentable in our dress wear this year. I really want to take hold and focus on like my makeup and stuff like that too. Like I really want to channel what I feel on the inside. On the inside, I really want to be in my fashion era. 
when it comes to clothing and makeup. But it's like, I get nervous. Anything that is out of my comfort zone, I get nervous about it. But it's like, I always play in my makeup. So, why not just wear my makeup and, and not just wear it when I'm going out? Wear it when you want to feel cute going to work sometimes. So, that's what we're going to start doing. So, yeah. Even if it's a light beat, a light natural face, that's what we're going to do. If I want to be cute, I'm going to go all out. Okay? Yes. Yes. If you're kind of trying to get into your being more presentable, I, I don't want to say being more presentable. If y'all are in that I want to look like I feel, no, not that either. Like, let me know in the comments if y'all are kind of like feeling like I'm feeling like, the way I feel or the way I imagine myself looking, that's how I actually want to look on a daily basis. Like, if I want to look casual, I want to be a cute casual, not a, let me just throw on some sweats. I don't care what nobody say. Like, if I want to throw on some sweats, I want to semi-dress those sweats up in any way I can. Even if I have to throw on, like, a trench coat or something. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, in my head... In my mind, in my spirit, I know what I want to look like. But now, I don't want it to just be internal. I actually want to do it now. So, yeah. That's a whole other spiel for another day, though. But, yeah, that's what I'm about to be doing. Um, So, those are the clothes. Now, I want to show y'all one more thing. Like, oh, so... I have definitely zoned back into my reading lately and I think I told y'all before but um I did start reading a book by Kennedy Ryan I think I've already put it up I finished the book the first book by Kennedy Ryan and now I'm about to go into my second book and I actually just want to give y'all a little TBR um, I showed these in a previous vlog when I bought them but I finally got done with Kennedy Ryan now, I didn't just get done with it. I've been done with it, but I didn't go straight to the next book. What I did was I went to some old books that I have. So, my current TBR, well, what I'm currently reading is a book by Candace Shaw. It's called A Passionate Night. Um, she has a little series. They're like little books like this, but they're actually really good. I have all three of them. Like, it's the Bennett series, about three twins in uh not three twins it's about triplets and like their family owning a club and it just talks about their individual lives it's two boys and one girl they're triplets so i'm on the last book of the triplet series and then once i get done with that i'm going to go back into kennedy ryan so up next on my tbr is block shot block shot is next and then I'm going to get back into my little romance era. Like, I'm obsessed with Brenda Jackson. Majority, don't talk about how I got everything set up. But over there, majority of those books are some type of romance. And majority of them are from Brenda Jackson. And I finally found a newer book from her. I don't think this is new, though. I'm probably just now scoping it out. It's been reprinted. That's what it was. It's been reprinted into a new thing. But this is by Brenda Jackson. It's called Perfect Timing. I need to look over there and make sure I ain't got it. I don't think I do, though. Because I don't notice any of these names in here. So, this is what's next on the TBR. And then a book by Rochelle Ellers. Um, Low County, Low Country Summer. I like Rochelle Ellers too. I got a lot of her books over there. So, Block Shot first. Perfect Timing next. And then Low Country Summer is third. And about the time I get done with these, we're going to be hitting up Barnes & Nobles for some more books. Because I have a Barnes & Nobles gift card. And I told myself I am not going to Barnes & Nobles until I finish these. So, we got some time. But sometimes, y'all, I be zoning in, and I get done with a book in a day, depending on what I got going on. Especially if it's a weekend. But that's what we're doing. And now, 
what I'm about to do is I need to take out some chicken because I'm hungry. While I'm waiting for my chicken to thaw out, I'm just going to edit some things. So, y'all, do me a favor and go check out my TikTok page. I'm going to make sure I put my username on the screen. But it's also going to be in the description box for y'all to just click on and go to it. But I need y'all to go to my TikTok and follow me. Because we're on the road to 1K. Like, I'm nowhere near 1K right now, but I'm speaking it into existence. Okay? Like... I got a lot of new things that I want to try out and I'm really getting into that mode to where I'm putting out things that I've always wanted to do and the way I'm doing it is if I like it I'm going to put it out and I had to get my mindset off of I had to get out of that mindset of not posting because I don't think anybody's gonna like it somebody's gonna like it and therefore if i've already taken my time out to record these things and edit them i'm not just gonna let it sit there i'm not just gonna sit on content we're about to post it so i already have my little schedule out of when things are gonna be posted i already got all that going on so make sure y'all check out my tiktok and follow me over there because it's a lot of things gonna be going what i'm about to do today is actually schedule everything for the upcoming week like i had a lot of stuff already planned out all that has been posted already i'm telling y'all consistency so what i'm about to do now is schedule everything for the next week going into at least the second or third week in february like i don't necessarily know what i'm going to do in particular but i know the type of content i want to do for certain days so yeah not just for TikTok, but here also. So I have a routine like I'm going to do a lifestyle vlog or a lifestyle video on TikTok and YouTube. I'm going to just do a sit down chit chat video on YouTube. And then I also have like a just a vlog day that I'm going to be uploading. So, yeah, there are several categories that I want to hit things that I feel like I relate to because I am lifestyle beauty vlogs like i really want to zone in into those and have more consistency i still don't feel like i have a niche but like those are the things that i like to talk about and i want to make sure that i am consistently doing that instead of just doing random stuff so yeah that's what i'm about to be doing for the rest of the night and then i'm going to stop and cook but other than that y'all like I really hope y'all liked this first vlog of like day in the life as a content creator with a nine to five. Like my life be lifing because of my occupation. Um, I don't give too much detail or I try not to give too much detail of what I do. But what I will say is that I'm a counselor and I'm not going to say where I work or anything like that. But yeah, I'm a counselor and life be lifing. Okay life be life so i really hope y'all like this video if y'all did like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments how y'all liked it also let me know what y'all's regular nine to five is especially if you're a content creator with a nine to five or even if you're just a full-time content creator let me know how your life is going and if you're just a nine to five girl like me only let me know in the comments. Let me know how life went for y'all. Because life, life this week. Um, Like I said, um, oh, one thing I need to add in. What I'm going to be doing is a lot more videos under the lifestyle category when it comes to my health. Because we're getting back on track. We got goals. And I'm really going to zone into that this year. I've been playing around, but it's time out for playing around. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, y'all. But, yeah, like I said, if y'all liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how much y'all liked it. And I hope this does really well because I would really like for this to be like an every now and again type of video that I post. 
Like, it's all going to depend on how well this video does. Um, I'm just a regular girl with a 9 to 5 from a small town of Mississippi that lives in Memphis now. I don't do fancy stuff. Like, this is just, this is my life. And I hope, I know somebody out there can relate to me. And I'm hoping that I reach that audience. So, we're going to start with this specific content that I'm about to post. So, yeah. Other than that, y'all, um, I guess I'll see y'all later because I'm about to cook and watch Alexis, the newest content creator that I subscribe to. Um, A. Wilkie, Alexis, love her. So, I'm about to, about to go catch up on her content. And I think Destiny has a few videos up I need to catch up on, too. So, yeah. I will see y'all next time. And, yeah. Hope y'all have a good week. Peace. I'm a shaker. I'm a game. I'm a shaker. I'm a game.